We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is West Palm Beach, Florida, as we get to visit with the new head coach for the Kaiser Seahawks, Coach Miles Russ. Coach, congratulations on the new gig. Let's start right there. Announced back in January, January 29th, that you would be taking over for Coach Doug Sosha, who had been the only coach in program history to that point in time. You are now the second coach for the Kaiser Seahawks. Talk about that just a little bit, and again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a blessing. It's kind of been a lot once we uh, once I got the job. I think the biggest part about it is uh, I've been here since day one. Uh, Coach Sosha got the job and I was here the exact ne next day um, and he brought me on and being a part of it from their ground uh, ground up has been very important. So that definitely helped me uh, transition into the spot I have now. Now, not to and and the lead really is the fact that you you've taken over as the head coach, but I think there has to be another lead in here, and the fact that Seahawks are national champions. So, congratulations on that. Uh, has it been fun getting to celebrate that and, and a new position? Talk about kind of that whirlwind it's it's been for you personally and as a program. Yes, yes it's it's been great. It's been great. We we definitely celebrated. You know, honestly, we got all the way to the end and was able to finally get over that hump against a really good Northwestern team. And um, then we were really right back to work. <laughs> and that's just how our profession is. We just got to continue to keep working. And then, you know, once you have success, uh, you know, things happen. Uh, and then the co associate ended up getting an opportunity. And then it even was even more of a whirlwind um, for, for the program uh, as I ended up uh, stepping in. And then personally, it was a whirlwind. I, I had my second child that uh, in you know almost that next month. Uh, so I, I, I have a five year old and then a newborn coming in, then a new job. It, it was all everything was you know kind of coming together. So, uh, but it's it's been a blessing and uh, it's been great for us. Well, God bless you, sir, and and congratulations yes. on a personal note as well yes. with your family. Uh, that really is. The children are are a blessing. So that that's wonderful. Well, then let's talk really quickly then about the transition because you mentioned that they're since day one. So you've been a part of the program as, as long as there's been a program. And you also have been a recruiting coordinator too, which means, you know, with, with uh, respect to signing day in, in February, I mean, you knew what was going to happen there. You've been a part of it yeah. along the way, but you're, Moving down a seat on the bench right now, I, to to do to use a basketball analogy there, yes. <laughs> there, have there been any adjustments or anything that you're, you're putting a, a maybe a different slant on? No, I, I think it's always the adjustments, but um, I, I had to move on over to that, you know, the next spot in, over in the bench and uh, really kind of delegate a lot more. I was taking control of a lot of the recruiting, um, but once I got a job, I had to delegate more. And I, I give our coaches a lot of credit um, so it was it was a lot going on because we, we, we lost a lot of coaches, um, uh, my kind of part, parts to uh, Lenore Ryan uh, getting that opportunity. So I had to was able to keep a little bit of coaches and then still bring in the right guys to be a part of our program. Uh, and then while doing that, you know, pushing them within recruiting and um, and try to teach them the way of the land of how we do things here at Kaiser University. Uh, so that was an adjustment, but, um, you know, I think we, we did pretty good with it. And it, it seems, uh, of course, the proof's in the pudding there with the national yeah. championship, the playoff appearances, what you all have been able to do with their program, the culture seems to be in good shape. And, and I would imagine it wouldn't be making too many transitions with you still being at the helm. We're visiting now with coach Miles Russ from Kaiser, the new head football coach there for the Seahawks. And, uh, you're watching Midwest Sports Net, and I encourage you, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel. I'm not sure what it does uh, by way of the algorithm, but it really does help us build the channel, so we would appreciate that. You know, you have players coming back, and I know there's transition even in that. Some players have moved on, some players coming back. Let's start with the offense, too. Jaden Meisinger, 1,600-plus yards last year. Oh, 261 in the national championship game, including opening things up for you. You had to know – Things were going your way when he broke open on that 75-yard touchdown round to start the game in the championship. He's coming back, and another nearly 1,000-yard running back, and Andrew Burnett coming back as well, 993 on the season. It's quite quite a backfield for you. Let's talk about the offense, and we can start right there. 
Yeah, so I'm so excited for those guys. Obviously, I was the running back coach as well. So um, being able to bring these guys back um, and, and make sure that they're still hungry. We still got a lot of work to do. Um, and they, they had that same chip on their shoulder that we had last year. So that's very important to us. Hopefully we can get both of them to that thousand yards. I know Andrew was right there. Uh, so, uh, you know, that's that's part of it. But with those two guys, it starts up front. Uh, and that's that's where I want to kind of talk about as well with our offensive line. I'm very excited of what these guys are you know going to be able to do. We're bringing back uh, Roger Carter. That was a very important piece at the offensive line position. Um, Jude Guerrero, Ignacio Albera, uh, those guys are still one of those uh, ones that that helped us get to that point of you know being physical and running the football. And then we brought in some new guys as well. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, and then at our tight end position uh, with uh, DeAndre Golden, that was a really big help for us on um, be, being able to, you know, be that passing threat. But him knowing in order for you to be a passing threat, you got to be able to, to block as well. So I think he took a big step last year of his physicality of, uh, of blocking. And then, you know, obviously on the outside as well, uh, guys going to have to step up. You know, we were a really good running team. Um, I want to be able to still be be able to get the ball downfield a little bit in the pass game as well. Um, but obviously it starts up front um, of running the ball. Uh, and then at the quarterback position, uh, we have two guys battling that I'm very excited about. Uh, we have Shea Spencer back. He was the quarterback that initially got us to our first national championship game that we weren't able to you know, get over that hump. And unfortunately he got hurt in that game. Um, so he's he's able to come back from his injury and he's battling with another uh, a red shirt freshman that we have that we're really excited about uh, with DJ Charlton. So um, it's it's fun. It's, uh, I'm going to have some big, big shoes to fill. I got some uh, uh, some answers that need to be uh, questions that need to be answered as well. But um, I'm excited about it. Camp should be fun. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of fun to, to yeah. see how this shakes out. On the defensive side of the ball, Tyvon Sutton as well as Hunter Hargrave coming back in the linebacker position. I know the defense, you'll see some adjustments there yeah. as well. So tell us a little bit about the defensive side. Yeah, at the end of the day, offensively, we want to run the ball. Defensively, we got to stop the run. And that's that's one way of how we got to where we had to win in that national championship. Um, so those two pieces were very big. We got to still – uh, at the defensive line position, we still have to be physical uh, and uh, be able to get, allow those linebackers to roam around and make those plays. And then we're very excited uh, in our back end as well uh, at our cornerback position uh, with Kinsley Johnson. That's a senior that's going to have to take another big step. Uh, and then uh, one of our safeties, uh, Justin Carcel, that's now a junior. Um, so those guys are going to have to step up with them. Uh, some other guys going to have to you know, make some plays for us. Um, so. I'm very excited about it, but those guys know we're a physical football team. Uh, I, I think that's a lot of a lot of teams were kind of surprised I, as we worked our way in the playoffs. Uh, we want to be physical. We want to be just like the Midwest. We want to, you know, be physical with the, uh, these opponents. Uh, and I want to make sure we still have that uh, within our discipline as well. And um, you know, that's that's Kaiser football. So I want to make sure that's never going to change. And uh, and these guys know what we're about and they know uh, what I'm about. And I've been here from day one. So um, I'm excited for it to continue to keep going. Coach, I and just on a on a observational note too, I think that was something that really was a, a hallmark for the Seahawks over the course of the playoffs in particular. I mean, I that that you were physical and it really yeah. showed. In, in watching Kaiser play those those playoff games that, uh, I mean, it just really stepped up. Yes, I, th I think it was big. I, it goes back to, you know, the foundation of the program. And uh, Coach Sosa did a great job of just make sure we instill that into our players. And uh, it, it's not just during the season, it's the off season as well. Uh, we really, and I give so much credit to our strength and conditioning staff of uh, preparing us for those moments, but uh, we, we practice the same way as well. So it's uh, it's part of us, uh, and we definitely understand and know that's the reason why we were able to get over that hump and uh, win a national championship. Don't want to neglect the special teams aspect of the game. Among those coming back, Nico Cavanius, 11 for 15 field goals last year, 41 of 42, uh, and getting that point after as well. Tell us a little bit about uh, special teams. 
Yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. Uh, Nico is 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 crazy. He he joined the team pretty late. He was a soccer kid, and uh, and when our kickers uh, end up having a little bit of an injury, and he came in and did a great job for us. Uh, special teams is big. It's a, a reason why we won a couple of games uh, this year. Even the national championship game, you can look back at uh, of a big kickoff return uh, that was able to to take to the house. Uh, so uh, we we know that that's a big component of you know why we were successful. We have to continue to do those things. Uh, we have to uh, protect ourselves in the punt game uh, as well. So I'm very, very excited for the special teams. Uh, it's a lot of, a lot of guys still going to have to step up. Uh, we, we're going to have a new uh, special teams coordinator as well. So he's going to, he has big shoes to fill uh, as well. So we're, it's just, uh, it's a team with a lot of opportunity, and I'm very excited about these guys to uh, be able to show what they're all about. The season gets underway on a Thursday night as three of your first four games are on the road, including, and it wouldn't be a Kaiser schedule if the if it wasn't yeah. just amazingly <laughs> challenging. So you start off with a couple of D2 programs on the road in the state of South Carolina. You head to North Greenville on a Thursday night to get things started September 5th. And then the next week, back to South Carolina, as you take on Newberry on the road again as well. Back home, September 21st, first home game of the season hosting Fort Lauderdale, and then the Sun Conference schedule starts, and that is uh, proving to be a, a, an ever more challenging conference in football along the way as you get to uh, go on the road and take on Thomas at Thomasville, Georgia. Tell us a little bit about the opening to your season. Oh, it's, it's a Kaiser schedule. <laughs> it's, it's one thing that we like to prepare ourselves, um, and that, that's what we're about. I think it's cool because I think we, we did it a couple years back, and everybody thought we were crazy. Uh, and it really prepared us and uh, really put us to where we're at now. And then it's, you can see a lot of other NAIA programs that are starting to build up their schedule and, and kind of look like ours. So um, yeah, those two first two games are gonna be tough, but at the end of the day, we're just trying to focus on ourselves. We know that we need to be who we are. We need to be disciplined. We need to be tough. And uh, you know, and be able to you know go up there, and we we got to get over that hump as well. I think that's one thing I've been telling our team. Uh, we've been playing some really good Division two teams, like the two Division two teams that we have our first games, but we haven't been able to get over that hump and beat them. And I think that's very important. Um, also, I think it's still we we, we kind of switch things up with the NAIA of uh, when we did lose those games when we first started, and we we kind of got pushed all the way down. And we were one of the lowest seats in the playoffs, and then we made that big run, and everybody was so surprised. But we, you know, we played some really good Division two teams, and then you know they kind of pushed us down in the rankings. So, um, you know, I think we we were able to kind of switch that a little bit within the within the rankings in terms of playing bigger teams outside the NAIA and not really getting hurt as much uh, within that. Um, but at the end of the day, we these teams prepare us. Uh, for the long run uh, of the season. And uh, when we do have those tough games against Northwesterns, the College of Idaho, the Bethels, honestly, our conference is a really good conference and they prepare us within the St. Thomas's, Southeasterns, Flood Memorials, the, the whole deal. So we're, we're getting prepared. So once we hit that playoffs, um, our guys are, are ready to go. You know, Coach, I, I agree with you. And watching that the last two years, and, and I think that that shift was made in the rankings uh, last year as opposed to two years ago, because you're right. I mean, it, it, uh, I don't think people really recognized what you were after playing that tough part of the schedule. And, and so that they're seeing, well, you know what, give them, give them through the month of September. Then we'll start figuring yeah. the thing out. Just yeah. like, win or lose, yeah. the Seahawks are going to be a part of this. Coach Miles Russ, the new head coach for the Kaiser Seahawks. Thank you so much, sir, for taking time with us today, previewing the 2024 college football season. We will follow the Seahawks this year, and we look forward to getting a visit with you again. Thank you so much, sir, for your time. And thank you so much. I really appreciate you just coming to you know, talk to us about our program and what you're doing for NAIA. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>